going on everybody sorry to disrupt your watching pleasure but before we get into the video i'd like to give you guys a short message from my new sponsor razor yes i'm being sponsored by them they released a bunch of sick new gaming gear and it's my job to make you guys aware of this so i'll leave a link in the description and down in the comments go click on it and go look at their gaming gear and if you're someone who's in need of like a game mouse keyboard or some other gear go check them out and buy them my personal recommendation is the razor death adder which is my favorite mouse of all time but you know go there and pick out something you like just head down over the link below thank you very much to razor for supporting me i guess but anyway i won't put this track on for too long enjoy the video all right what is going on everybody it's Roku back with more darius content and today we're going to be playing on the PBE with the new items. I have played on the PBE like quite a bit, like up until now, to get all my controls and shit and to get some experience. We start off with like, the account that you're given on PBE starts off with level 1, so I was forced to take like, the default runes and you know, I didn't have enough levels for Flash. But we're still gonna play so that we can, you know, get a hang of the new items. So far, I think the like the clear, clear choice is Stridebreaker, because one thing that they removed in the item rework is Phage. Like we straight up don't have Phage anymore. We have like Kodachi, but like you know that's not like Phage gives you move speed when you kill units, whereas Kodachi only gives you move speed when you like auto attack units. So <coughs> we're definitely lacking an amazing you know item that you can be going. But it's fine, because the completed version of Stridebreaker gives us the old Phage passive, which will be very, very useful. Hmm. Damn. Ugh, I am on, like, around 200 ping, so excuse me if I'm not able to play at my maximum capacity. There goes the first death. Damn, I'm so slow. I need to adjust to this thing. But yeah, like I said, Stridebreaker is definitely the go-to item. And overall, like, the old, like, all the, like, the fighter items are mostly okay. Because they all have, like, HP and shit. So the normal build right now is you go three bruiser items, and then you go full tank, right? Or if you're, if you're losing or someone on the enemy team is fed, you go two bruiser items and then you go like full tank, right? And I would give you guys like a recommended build, but the issue right now is that like, there is no longer one set recommended build you can go anymore, right? There's so many options right now and like, you have to pretty much like, like adapt to every single game. Like the whole recommended item thing, this thing, is kind of broken and doesn't work. So we have to basically make the choices on our own. But basically, like I mentioned, the mythic we're going to get is Stridebreaker. Yeah. The mythic we're going to get is Stridebreaker. And to support that, I might get either a Death Stance, or if they're fed, some sort of like Mob Mamortius or something. I don't know. It's just, there's just so many like options here. One thing's for sure, Sterax is still an amazing item, right? Basically, Sterax is like... It's not as like strong right now earlier, it's strong later on. So, it's definitely a very good option if you want to get like a third item. Or if you find that like, you know, you're team fighting like really early on into the game. It's amazing for like, you know, a second item as well. You abandoned me! It's fine. I live because I have the broken, you know, mo like the built-in maw, I guess, from the sorcerer tree. Take it then! Jesus, because you did that... It's... Alright, we, we crashed the turret. Alright. Oof, like the first game I played, I had no idea what like I was even looking at. Like the new menu is so convoluted and just difficult to make sense of. Like it's actually impossible sometimes, but I think we're still okay. Like, alright, in my opinion, them making new icons for 
everything was a bit unnecessary because like even I as a person who has played this game a fuck ton I have no idea what's where Black Cleaver right now is also a very very nice option as a secondary like if you're up against like a lot of AD Death Stand secondary is definitely the way to go but Cleaver secondary is also something else you can go so Strider, Cleaver, Sterax and then you go full tank by full tank I mean like you go like you know these tank legendaries right here like Spirisage or Force of Nature, Force of Nature right here, or something else, you know, depending on what team you're up against. Like, it's all about adapting, you know. And if some of you guys have questions about Trinity Force, um,. Unfortunately, Triforce is not that usable anymore. Like, when Riot like lets us use Practice Tool again, I will make like a fully detailed video. But for now, you know, um, for now, just know that like Triforce is not viable at all because Triforce is now designed for champions like Jax, who are like built to just stand there and auto, 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 right? And as we have discussed in previous different videos about like, you know, Ruse and etc. That is not what Darius does. Darius doesn't use all of his abilities, he bursts people down, right? You you combo your abilities, right? Like, in 1v1 fights, Triforce can be quite good, but in any team fight setting, you're way more ability dependent. So you kind of have to just, you know, use your abilities to burst people down, which makes Triforce not the best item. We're doing quite well so far. I just wish we could have a Conquer because Grasp is worthless as fuck. Alcove gameplay, whoa! Let's see how thirsty they are for kills. Back to Stridebreaker. What I actually find really, really fun about Stridebreaker is that like you can combo with your Q, right? So if you guys don't know, let's just look at all the you know bruiser items because why not the mythics. So as I said, Triforce is not good anymore. Gore Drinker is quite powerful, but it's mostly used for champions who already have mobility, like Renekton, Kled. They will be loving Gore Drinker. Darius, not so much, because you can't really combo too properly with your Q. Um, Divine Devourer. It's quite good if you're up against people who like stank, stack HP, but the thing is like Darius is like kind of hard coded to beat tanks in a lot of situations, right? Like sure, Orn Malphite's annoying, but like you know you're supposed to beat them if you keep the fight long enough. So like I don't think it's necessary. And worst of all, none of the it other items have Phage or like a good version of Phage. So let's just try Worker is the only like ability you can use. But as a positive, the dash on Stridebreaker lets you like use it as an extra flash, basically. Like you can you can like use the Stridebreaker dash and dash towards someone and use your E. You can use it in the middle of your Q, by the way. So you know if you pulled someone, but like the pull bong or you know you. Like they are kind of walking into you and you can't hit your Q for sure. You can just use Stripe Breaker to dash into a more, you know, favorable position to hit your Q with. So it's very, very versatile in this use case. You can use it in dodge skill shots and it's just amazing. So of all the stupid shit that has come out of this, you know, new item rework, that's one good thing that we can look forward to. All right. Now. Kama is basically Tiamat, right? It's basically exactly like Tiamat. And a lot of you older Darius players will know this, but you can use Kama or Tiamat currently while you press your Q, right? So what's good about the current Kama and not Tiamat is that Tiamat is more close to you, right? So the people on the edge of the Tiamat, which is basically that in your Q range, they will take minimal damage. But Kama, the damage does not fall off. The whole area has maximum damage. So, like, you can basically combo this with your Q and have it be actually efficient so you can actually build, like, you know, 
the items it builds it to like pretty well. Honestly, Stride Breaker gives us everything except for mana. Mana is going to be a big, big issue for Darius in the next season. And, you know, I've checked out most of the items and uh, unfortunately, there's no like good way to solve the issue, right? Like, before, Triforce was a very good way to solve the issue because Triforce came with all of its other benefits and the mana was just a nice little positive. Now we no longer have that. And worst of all, like to get like a decent mana item, you have to go out of your way, right? Like you have to go out of your way and like just like you just have to kind of go out of your way and just go for a different build. Like I don't know why, like I keep repeating it, but it's just like this feeling of like you do shit that you don't want to do that's not optimal for the game in order to have mana, right? And instead of throwing the game for just like, you know, comfort, I think it's better to learn how to conserve your mana. So yeah. Um, Asterius mains might have some issues in terms of mana, but the Cleaver users will, you know, they've already adapted because, you know, Cleaver does not have mana anyway. But yeah, because they have a decent bit of AP damage, I will be going for Stridebreaker, Cleaver, Sternax Gage, Force of Nature, and then I might even go for a Randoms because, like, you know, this gin is looking quite beefy. They're not really fighting us at all, because they know we're just gonna fucking murder. Oh damn. Just get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Alright, he's gone. He's a goner. Is that at least? Alright then. Let's see what you can do. Come on, big boy. That's the best you can do. Oh fuck, the rumble's here. The more the better. Let's go. Hey, I got cavalry. Where did the bitch go? Hey, nice. Good job, dude. Alright, I need to. The Estrial's inting into the next dimension. Jesus Christ. That's the teleport from Timo, I believe. Alright, I think that's enough. I'm gonna go get my Stride Breaker. And now we get to the fun part. Stride Breaker is such a fun item. So fun. Alright. And now let's start building Cleaver. Now the thing about Cleaver is that like... Though, like... It's kind of worse for like, shorter fights. The car thing kind of helps you execute people a lot, and like, the thing, like it won't help the execute too much, right? Because basically with Darius, if you have a lot of it, like, you know, levels and shit, with Squishy Champions, you'll be one-shotting them at like, you know, like, half HP pretty much. But if you're up against anyone that's a tiny bit hard to kill, then Cleaver's gonna help a lot. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, I didn't use the Stride Breaker properly. I should- I dashed into the wall. And yeah, Stride Breaker can't dash through walls. I'll show you guys right now, but basically the area is like, look at how tiny this is. But yeah, if you use it properly though, it can be quite deadly. Can we catch this one? Apparently not, because their entire team is here! Oh damn, I tried, but the Jin is far too fed. Hopefully he can get the Elise. Unfortunate. Yeah, we're- <laughs> he is so fed. Jesus. Yeah, the Kraken Slayer is quite like a bullshit item. Like basically what happened in one PBE game was I was fighting against the Vayne top and she built Kraken Slayer first. And I don't know what dumb motherfucker or Riot put this into the game, but basically what it does is if you auto attack someone twice, third time auto attack, it's gonna be two damage, right? What you can do right now is auto attack a minion twice and then attack a champion and it does two damage. That's like Jax's passive. On like, like, 
it's such a like a elementary thing that I'm I'm just shocked like they can't understand how that could be like abused. But you know we're we're dealing with the riot games, so like uh, expecting a human intellect, you know we're just being too optimistic at this point. Let's just take this damn turret. I do believe he's going for yes the gore drinker. I think Eclipse is way better on Garen because there was this other game and this Garen just one shot everyone with this Eclipse. I don't know, man. It's like there's so much broken shit in the game. Eclipse the assassin item. Like, it just one-shots people. It's so insane. Like, no oh chef, we got company. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Yeah, this motherfucker. This thing does so much damage. 16% might not sound like a lot, but it is a lot. Slowed him with the thing. And died. <laughs> Fuck. Come on, kill him. Alright, whatever. I wanted to show off how you could use Stridebreaker to do E, but like, that was just it. Alright, alright. <laughs> Dude, look. I'm not really taking this seriously, so just using this item is kind of fun to me right now. We'll have to deal with the Jin ourselves because this Ezreal can't do it. There's a real man, but down a bot lane. Why does it look like that? No one listens to people who bitch. No one likes people who bitch. Like, honestly, I'm kind of missing the attack speed items you get from the what's his face, the the tree, precision tree. Yeah, I'm missing all the attack speed things you get from the precision tree because like. With Strybreaker, it's like the bare minimum of attack speed that's good. But the thing is, if you go to Triforce, you get too much attack speed, you know? So you kind of get how it's just fucked up. Alright. Gotcha. Strybreaker is just so generally applicable. It feels great. Okay. I'm not sure we can do this, Udyr. Well, I'm not sure you can do this. I can't though. Oh my god, he's just that fast, isn't he? Kill him, my boy! Enemy down. You know, like, with how fed he is, me dying for him is pretty worth, in my opinion. Now let's get the... It's unfortunate that I can't, like, buy, like, Tabi, because there's so much TC on the team. I gotta get Merc Boots. Where's Merc Boots? I dislike how they change the art for everything, needlessly. But it is what it is. Alright, we're very close to Cleaver now. And you don't have like a thing here to control items, you gotta do it through here. So... Yep. There you go. We get a lot of AD. Damn it. I don't have my ultimate, but I'm pretty sh certain I can make a difference here. They don't do a true damage. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, man, that's how that's how it goes. Didn't execute the minion. That Teemo is like, he might as well have like a sign on his forehead that reads "Kill me." Roku, please kill me! Happy to oblige. Do something, Janna. Oof, that was spicy. Anyway, though I did not show that like I wanted to try, I'll show how you can Q and then, you know, strike back in the middle. So I'll just prepare these minions. So yeah, you can Strybreaker in the middle of Q. That's like how I meant it. Like the applicability of this item is insane. 1.2k, 1.05k. 
I hope they can make it. Nice. Oh, this Elise is fuming. I gotta take the shot for him. Nice. Great, great job, great job. I was gonna exhaust the gen and then catch him, but we didn't need to. He killed him anyway. Easy peasy. Alright, we have now enough gold for Cleaver. Now, Sterax Gage is still an amazing item. But what they, what they basically changed with Sterax is like... It still does pretty much the same thing, but with a few key differences, right? Like... Oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> what a thirsty fuck. Jesus Christ. He just blew everything. Alright, man, if you're that fucking desperate, sure thing. I'm gonna bust your face, though. Anyway, so. Um, for those of you that don't know, they basically made it so, like, with Cleaver, if you fully stack, like, the armor shred on someone, you basically, every damage you do, like, deals 5% of their missing health in damage. Like, everything. So, I think that's a pretty good payoff in, like, longer fights. And what they did with Sterax was, it's a bit inter interesting, not, it's not something I like, but, you know, I'm, I accept it, basically. Because when Riot just fucks shit up, we have no choice but to accept it. Basically, it does not give you scaling AD anymore. It does not scale with your base AD, right? But what it does have is Rage. Basically, every time you get hit by an enemy champion, or you yourself hit an enemy champion, you get a stack of Rage, right? And you can get one stack of Rage per person, and you can get like a stack of rage from a person with like it has a six second cooldown. So basically, like you can only get a stack of rage if like everyone hits you at the same time in a team fight, right? If like you know you fight one v one with someone, rage does not stack up that much. You only get one stack per six seconds against a single target. But against multiple targets, if they all hit you or if you hit them all, they get a lot of stacks. Now, why are these stacks good? Each stack of rage gives you like a certain percent of your health recovered over six seconds, right? So this times five, like, well, yeah, it stacks up to five, right? So you can get like 200, like 400, you know, like just crazy amounts of like health regen over six seconds, which roughly translates to around like 60, 50, you know, health a second, which is a crazy amount of regen, right? But that's not the most important part. The most important part is when you get the Sterax Shield, it's not just a big burst, it's when it gets your health below 30%. And you get like around 400 shield base, but it gets increased by 200 like every time for every stack of rage, right? So let's say you have like, you know, like you can basically get like a thousand shield or so from this, right? Like in a busy team fight, you can get like a thousand strength shield, which is amazing. And you know what's even better? The big buff is that the shield is not decaying. It stays on you for the full 8 seconds. Which is what makes this item a fucking dream. And this Jin a nightmare. He just destroyed everything, dude. He's like a race car. I need to tank up quickly. Let's see the power of Sterix Gage then. Yeah, and the Ez has disconnected. Ah! There's gotta be something we can do, right? It is what it is, though. I think the educational value of this, you know, game is still quite good. We're just trying out the items, right? Force of Nature is actually a very, very good item now. Because basically what Force of Nature is, it's like a different sort of alternative for Adaptive Helm. And it's not nearly as effective. But what it does is, like, for every, like, ability damage you get, it gives you more magic resistance and more move speed, right? So you get stronger and stronger as the fight goes on. Now, what they've kind of done with the game, with the new items, is that you can no longer stack, like, a few stats a lot anymore. Like, you can't stack a stat. Like, you need armor, you can't really very easily stack it. But what they've done instead is, like, the amount of, like, stats in damage and in tankiness given by the items is insane. The items now, the actives and the passives, do so much that like, you know, it's okay that you like they lack the stats. Because they just do a lot. Oh 
Oh, he actually took the kill. You're a dead man, homie. Alright, I, I, I gotta go back to the base and clear the turret. We're fighting a 4v5, man, but it is what it is. Now, I, I did say the fish was gone, but it's not gone, but it's essentially butchered. Because the passive is that, that thing of like, you know, the Sterex passive I just told you, that comes from Phage now. And the stats are the same, but Phage doesn't give us move speed anymore. It just sucks that like, you know, Depth Strider is the only item with that Phage move speed, so like, we're kind of limited in our builds. But I don't mind that, because you know, like, Depth Strider is a very, very fun item, so... It's alright with me. If I had Flash, I could maybe make a sick play, but like... It is kind of impossible. Uh, how can people be bothered to do objectives in PBE? Alright, we gotta make some sick plays here. The Jin is still here? Man, we gotta, like, isolate the Jin somehow. It's like, it feels impossible to do when they're now protecting him. Like, this is the most try-hard thing I've seen in PBE. Now we just lose. Oof, what was that? What is this? Alright, go in big boy. Ah, uh, no. We just die, because the Jin is getting protected. It is what it is. Like, I mean, if they want the win that hard, they can have it, you know, because, you know, like, if a person try hard this hard, they've never felt victory in their lives. But, you know, what can you do? Some people are just like that. Anyway, boys, I loved playing in PvE so far. The items are crazy fun to mess around with. And yeah, guys, uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video, huh? Peace out.